Your AI skills are about to go to the absolute next level because in this video, I am going to show you how to connect a high level account so it can be your own high level account directly through them, or it can be a white labeled high, high level account. So we have a white label called Star Funnels. So our members in Star Funnels will be able to do this as well. And it's going to show you how you can connect that high level account, which is your CRM, your courses, your landing pages, your websites, your text messaging, like all of those marketing tools, how you can connect that to an AI chat assistant that literally can follow you around the internet using MCP. So if you don't know what that is, it's called Model Context Protocol. And I have another video explaining exactly what it is. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly where to go to set up the new high level MCP so that you can connect your high level to literally anything. It is like taking Zapier, make all of those things to the complete next level. And what makes it so awesome is when you set it up this way, you don't actually have to go build all of the, if this, then do that. If this happens, then do that. All you have to do is talk to any sort of chat assistant, chat bot, a chat interface, and then because you're connecting it with this MCP on the back end, the MCP powered by AI will decide where and what tool it needs to use. It's kind of like having a switchboard operator who can go, oh, you wanna do that? Great, I have that tool, boop. And it's just gonna plug in all the places. It is so awesome. Now in this tool, I'm not gonna go crazy deep. I'm really just gonna do a quick overview so you can see the best way to get started with this. This is so easy, it is seriously wild. And if you want a deeper dive, just look down below. We have a program called AI Stars. We are going to be going so deep into this. We've already done several training videos on how to set up MCPs in there. So if you want access, just drop the word AI Stars or you can find the information below. And if this is helpful, make sure you give us a little subscribe. My name is Molly Mahoney. I'm so excited to show you how this works. Let's dive in. Okay, so when you are in your high level account, and this is brand new, it just came out on July 4th. Uh, I'm freaking out because it's so awesome. You're going to go actually, let me show you what it looks like um, before you even build it. What it looks like is this. So like, let's say I'm over on LinkedIn. I built this little Chrome extension that has this little chat bot. Now this chat bot is connected to my high level account. So I can come in here and I can say, well, let's say I'm looking at LinkedIn and I'm like Tobin Smith. Do you know Tobin Smith? Okay. Oh, what the heck is happening? Sorry. Okay. Do you know Tobin Smith? <laughs> I probably should have said like, is he in my Oh my gosh, we got to close that down so you don't actually see his information. Okay, that was wild. Did you see? It knew exactly where he was because he's inside my CRM. So when I'm over on LinkedIn and I'm like, oh, I want to connect to Tobin. I shut it down so you can't see his stuff. I want to connect to Tobin. It's going to let me. Oh my gosh, wrong thing. Okay. So if I'm like, oh, I want to connect to Tobin, I want to send him an email. You're able to pull that chat bot up and actually send him an email just by saying, please send an email to Tobin that says X, Y, Z, and AI will write the email and AI will send the email. It's amazing. So here's how you're going to build it. Inside of Star Funnels or High Level, whichever type of account you're using, you're going to go all the way down on the bottom and you're going to click into the settings. So go to the settings. This is inside the sub account level. And then you're going to find the thing that says private integrations. And so in the private integration section, what you'll do is you'll create a new integration. So you'll click create new integration. Now you'll give it a name and high level has recommended that you only build this for the smallest amount of access possible. So you can build these out with something like course AI agent or contacts AI agent, right? So let's say I'm going to build a contacts one here that only has access to my contacts information and like things that I want to do with my, my CRM. And then I can explain what it's going to be here, right? Like, look up and talk to GHL contacts. Okay, that's what it's gonna do. Then on the next section here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select what do you want it to have access to. 
So it can view businesses, it can edit businesses, it can view calendars, it can edit calendars, all of these different things. Now, let's say I just want it to work on like the contact side and send conversations when I feel like reaching out to somebody, I can blah, blah, blah. Or if I see something happen on Facebook, because that little chat bot I built, it can go anywhere on the internet, okay? So let's say I, I see something happen when I'm on Blue Sky and there's someone, I'm not actually active on Blue Sky, but just saying, and I see something happen, I'm like, oh, I wanna send that person this email, I can automatically send it. Let's say I have something where a bunch of people comment, I can grab all of their names and say, look them up. Are they in my high level CRM? Great, send them an email, right? So many possibilities. Now, I would come in here and I'm gonna just go to view contacts, add that in, view conversations, edit conversations, view messages, whatever. I can do this, so I can get like more information about them, edit contacts, and then I'm gonna do email, right? View email, I can go through here. All of these different things that I can do create, update, delete email templates. Oh my gosh, there's so much opportunity. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You just select the things that you want to have the ability to do. And then when you hit create, you'll get that. I'm going to delete this one, but you'll get this API key, copy it because it will not show up again. So you'll have this, this little API key here. And then once it's done, that's the access token, right? When you come back over here, you will have this MCP built here. And what will happen is you'll then be able to go into another tool and set up the high level MCP connection. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing that you do is you go into high level, you go to private integrations, you set up what you want it to have access to, and then you're gonna get this access token. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to actually connect this with a chat bot. So you can do this actually on the back end of chat gpt or inside claude if you have the higher level you can set up a custom mcp the back level of high of chat gpt the way that you do this is you go to tools you click the little plus sign and it's going to say mcp server now in here it's not one that will show up so you'll click add new and you'll do a custom mcp server there is a specific url that is within high level and I'll put the URL down below. High Level gives that, you put the URL here. And then in the authentication, this access token section, you're gonna put that key here within High Level. You'll give it a label so that you'll remember what it is. And then this is where that access token goes and then you connect it. Now this will then work on the backside of ChatGPT and what they call the playground. But if you wanna build this as a chat bot that you can turn into a Chrome extension like I showed you, what I love to use is a tool called MindPal. And so in MindPal, you can see I've got these 21 chatbots. I have like 300 agents that I've built out because I'm using MindPal a lot. I have a 20% off discount code. If you want it, it'll be below this video. It's the word Molly. It will get you 20% off of your first payment. It is so awesome. And so if we go into the chatbots, what you can do is you can actually build a chatbot that is connected to high level. So let's just start this from the beginning. If you're gonna build You've got to start by building an agent that's connected to the chatbot. So we're going to go into the agents. You click new agent. You can just say like a sales assistant <laughs> that helps manage my CRM. Now, MindPal will build a really amazing prompt. We have a specific format that we use for it, which again, if you want to join us in AI stars, we walk through the whole thing really slowly and have like written guides and everything. But watch, if I just do this, crazy, amazing, right? It wrote an okay prompt for this. Then I'm gonna go into my integrations. Now in the integrations, you'll see that we have MCPs. You're gonna click on MCPs and then you're gonna say, add new remote MPC server. And so you're gonna name it. You're gonna drop the lead connector MCP URL. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'll grab that URL for you. Like I mentioned earlier, let me just go pull it up. So that URL is the specific URL that you're gonna use for all of your MCP connections that come in through high level. And you'll put the name for it. Make sure when you name it, that you put it something that is something that you easily recognize in the future. So I have one that is like, um, you know, GHL CRM. 
and that will just manage my CRM. That's the one that you saw there. I also have one that is um, uh, like a Gmail one. I have a lot of MCPs for a bunch of different things, but with this, I'm gonna show you. What you'll do is you'll use this URL. You'll put the URL right here. And then in the name section, I'd name it like um, GHL, what was I doing this one for? Contacts. <laughs> okay. Again, this is just an example. And then you have to add in these header sections. So there's two different headers that you need to add here. The first is the authentication. So you're going to write authentication in this section. And then this is a little weird. It's a little techy. You're going to write bearer space and oops and then you're going to put that code that you got from high level earlier so that long authentication code again i'm going to delete this as soon as i'm done make sure that you don't have any spaces at the end of it because it will not work if you do that then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to click add header and what you need to add here is your location id so this is one thing that confused me with mcps when i first started playing with them is that when you create them it's very similar to creating an api if you've never done that before you have a URL, and then you have, which is like generic, anyone using the high level URL will use the same URL. And then you have these little authentication things that you add down below. So in order to get your own private one, you add that top thing that says authentication, and then you have to add location. Oh, it doesn't say authentication. I'm so sorry. It's authorization, not authentication. Oh, oh my gosh. Here you're going to add, this is like to see who's paying attention. Okay. Authorization. And then the key down here is your location ID. So we're going to go like this. You'll add the word location ID right here. And then the value of this will actually be your high level location ID. Okay. Then look at this. All of these things are going to come in here. And these are all the different opportunities that I have put down below for it to be able to have access to. And so then I would add the server and then it's going to have the information um, all there on the back end as an integration that I can choose in the future. So I'll be able to select that integration and use it in the future. Then the final step, now that I have that agent, oh, did I not hit save on that agent? <gasps> I don't think I hit save. Anyway, you would save that agent and then you come into the chat bots and in the chat bot, when you create a new chat bot, you just select that agent to be like this CRM integration. You select that agent to be the agent that you're going to use for this chat bot. And in the access and security section, you would give it a nice little name. And so I'm going to say test MCP. Okay. I create the chat bot. I could do all kinds of things for that give it a name, which I didn't do. That was just the URL Ooh, up here. Again, we go way deep into this inside AI stars, but I'm just giving you the like high level overview. Test MCP right there. And then when I want to share it, I just click this. I go publish. I publish it. And then I'm going to get the iframe information and you can build a Chrome extension with that iframe embedded into it. Now, if you're like Molly, how on earth do I build a Chrome extension? Well, guess what? This morning I built a tool that will actually write the code and give you the instructions for a Chrome extension for you. It's called desk hop. It's not readily available for everyone yet, but if you would like to try it, just say desk hop below. It will build you all of the code to create your own Chrome extension that can follow you around the internet. It is so awesome. And I am so, so, so grateful to be able to walk you through this whole thing. Now, I know this is really fast. I know it's a lot of little steps. So again, inside AI stars, we have all of the details. I've got a full written guide. I've got all the links and everything ready to go and the ability for you to ask all kinds of questions. If you want more information, just go to molly.live slash AI stars. Make sure that you follow for more information here. And if you don't have a high level account, holy smokes, we've got high level mind pal, everything down below so that you can get access to build these tools on your own. So, so fun. I will see you on the other side.